When did you move to Silicon Valley? I moved here originally uh, in 2001 for uh, business school. Uh, I came during the dot-com bust. Uh, I graduated in 2003. Wow. And that was not a great time, actually, to uh, – it was a good time to be in business school. If I could have stayed a few more years, I probably should have. <laughs> that window was not a great time to be here. But I, I basically then left for a little over a year uh, to start a company in Los Angeles with a very good friend of mine. Uh, and then I moved back here. I ended up working in a number of um, kind of startups and helping build some startups. Uh, and then um, – you know, kind of fell into venture capital again, uh, mm -hmm. where it's it's almost funny to say in this environment, but there was a period where many great founders just could not raise money. Uh, the dot-com bust left a lot of VCs basically not excited about the internet. I, I remember a meeting at, at Clyder Perkins as an entrepreneur where they, they told me that the internet was not interesting. You know, and given my passion <laughs> they, they were very focused on energy at the time and energy related investments. Uh, you know, but, but it, but it was interesting that many of my great friends at that time, uh, who I was trying to help, uh, could not raise money. And so I've also had this kind of recurring theme of my life of always loving to help entrepreneurs. When I was young, I think a lot of my advice really sucked. Uh, and then, you know, as, as, as I actually, you know, matured and had more business experiences and, and was around enough startups. I, I think my advice, you know, sort of got better. Um, and so I always had this network of, of founders and entrepreneurs that, that were just seeking my advice. Uh, and there was this unique period where some amazing entrepreneurs didn't need my advice. They just, they just really needed money and they were having a hard mm -hmm. time raising it. So I ended up spending time, um, helping them fundraise, uh, hmm. really trying to network and make connections and uh, working on their deck. And then, and then in, I was not trying to be an angel investor, but I ended up investing in some of those companies really just as an expression of support because I really wanted to see these guys succeed. Uh, and, and as these things go, I got lucky that some of those companies became pretty high profile and some of those people that I, you know, some of those introductions that I made ended up um, – you know, being two great VCs at the time who, uh, you know, then, then, then sort of took atten paid attention to me. And, and as these things go in terms of cycles, you know, the internet came back, Web 2.0 became a hot thing. And, you know, a number of venture firms were, were curious to get young people kind of back into the business who had networks in the internet space. And, um, you know, and, and I was sitting in a pretty unique position at that point. Uh, and so I ended up basically ended up here at CRV now, uh, years ago. Wow. Uh, 